Okay, down here back again. Uh, I had to hard shut down my machine because right after I uh, close, uh, finished my recording, you know, and then previous and of this uh, little short desktop recording just to try out the uh, script here, uh, this dark recording script that uses VLC in the, you know, background or in the terminal. <clears throat> I mean, you should do it in the terminal because I ran it. These other ones on the right here, I ran it, uh, just double-clicked on the file, and uh, it works just fine, but then it, there's no way to stop it uh, in the right way so that it would make a file. I tried using VLC to make this one, but I only I could only get the audio. <coughs> um, actually, it could have been because I was trying to, I was in, in the system resources, and I tried, I right-clicked and, and said, uh, I said suspend, stop, and it worked, but then I started back up and all this different stuff. So it could have been that it uh, it actually broke that video, the MP4, because this one's not broken. It plays. It plays. And I did get uh, everything in that workspace. I didn't switch out of the workspace, I don't think, on purpose because I didn't think it would work. But uh, I don't know if I got... Looks like it stays just like that, and I did sometimes click over here, you know. That's weird. Oh, there we go. Oh, it even when I opened up that that script file, it worked. So that's cool. Everything in that workspace works. And then the sound of the uh, audio, the use the wave recording. Oh, I should have instead of recording that window. I don't think I'm getting the. So here's what I'm going to try to do now. I'm going to do uh, convert and save. And it may have been that the machine locked up just because I streamed for an hour and 12 minutes before trying messing around with it and uh, because I didn't know how to stop it. And I kept, I wanted to try and convert and save in order to get, uh, so I'm going to do the MP4. I did this, but the MP4 didn't work. Now I figured out you don't want to do two files, you know, add, you can't add all the files you want, but what it'll do is do one and then do another one and do another one, do them separately. So you want to do show more options. Play another media along with it, and that'll sync. That'll that'll start them at their each one of their beginnings. So, uh, I think it might be if you want a video, it might be better to play the uh, audio along with you know instead of playing the what I, what happened when I got that audio file. I played video. I put audio up here and video down here, and it and it it worked to get audio, but it didn't work to get the video file was messed up. I think anyway. So anyway, putting the video up here audio down here and you can actually do this and have different options but um, I used to think you had to go down here and select convert to get the con convert and save menu but actually it says default convert and save so that that's convert and save now what the the script was going to do is make a WebM but I was thinking I would try well WebM will work on YouTube because if it you know I might want to upload it um, Wait, let's see. Well, I, at the end, it tried to make a WebM, and it failed. And I'm not quite sure why. So let's just try MP4. We'll just convert the whole thing into MP4. See, that the original video file is an MP4, so it makes sense to not change that. Uh, so um, now I'm going to set the destination to, uh, well... Yeah, let's set it over into VLC. Sometimes I forget here t already tonight. Now I want to make it an MP4. But I better make it number two because I think I already have a number have one. Okay. Now when hit start, and I'm not playing I'm not displaying the output because uh, I just realized by accident. I, I like to do that in order to see if it's working or not. But when you do that, I think it ha it takes it. You have to watch the whole video, the whole entire video. So if you just don't display it, then it will just convert it, and then you can watch it when it's done, and it's really fast. That hour-long video did the wave in like two or three minutes, you know. So yeah, see there you go. Just you see it going across real fast. So you can use OB, uh, VLC. I'd forgotten that. I've done it before and I forgot. I can use VLC as an encoder if you want, or a converter and an encoder. Well, that's what it says, save and convert. So now, um, well, we already got VLC open, so let's open that file that we just made. Uh, it's not in downloads. It's in videos, VLC. And where is it? 
Number two, the one on the top, yeah, because it's organized that way. Let's see recording. what we get. Oh, I should have. There we go. Instead of recording that window, I don't think I'm getting the big terminal window. That would have been much more interesting. Okay, so I'm recording my desktop video, and I don't know if you can see. You might be able to see this whole desktop, but I don't know. But this this script right here, I'm. Okay, sorry, I muted my mic while what, you know, I thought, well, I don't want the speaker playing back through my mic because I'm sure it was making an echo. And uh, that caused what you saw there, jacked up PLC. So I'm going to mute my mic, play the video, and then uh, then come back. Recording. Oh, I should have. Instead of recording that window, I don't think I'm getting the terminal window that would have been much more interesting okay so I'm recording my desktop video and I don't know if you can see you might be able to see this whole desktop but I don't know but this this script right here I'm running in a terminal window and it's recording VLC video <coughs> and um, choosing VLC to record and FFmpeg to record a video and then uh, See, uh, X, X264 video uh, codec or, or encapsulator, whichever one, word I'm supposed to say. And uh, well, and there's the files right there. It's making an audio wave and an MP4. And there they are being made right there. And then you need to hit Control C to stop it. So I'm going to just do that this time because there's no need to make a. You know, a long video. I messed around with it for an hour. Tried. I start. Don't double click on it to start it. Then you don't have a way to kill it and and get it to. Uh, what it does is combine these two files together. To make a WebM. That's what the script does. Um, well, I can try opening the script and show it. I don't know if that'll work. Let's just see what all will work. So here's the script. If you can see it, and what it does is take those two files and combine them into a WebM. And uh, <clears throat> I got it off of a website, which, from what I understand, the, uh, the script only shows that one window that you click in. That, uh, it gives you a crosshairs to click, and wherever you want to click, that's where you, what you record. So uh, I went ahead and clicked in the Crusader window, so probably not even the uh, command line is showing up. So let's find out. I'm gonna... So you hit Control-C to uh, stop it, and then uh, cancel it, and then... Uh, okay so we're back yeah that worked um i mean well convert convert to save worked so um <clears throat> there's the other, the other the last time i did it uh there was something broken about the mp4 uh so uh let's see these here yeah i can move them over now and uh There we go. But I want to, I think I'll rename those with the two on the end. Oh, here's something really cool. I, I knew that I've known this before and then I forget. But, so I remember right now, so I'll show you. Okay, now this, that little, that icon is different than what it used to be. It used to be A, B, a red A and B. But uh, things are going a bit slow again. I hope my system's not acting up again. Oh, I know why it's going slow because I'm recording and doing all this stuff and. Uh, I bet you Lucky Backup was running right now, yeah. I didn't wait for it to run. I usually do before I start doing anything like this. But uh, so, you know, with the, this is called uh, K Rename. And uh, so I selected them and then clicked on that icon. And uh, and uh, I need to change my icons. There's a bunch of them I don't like. But anyway, um, you can do prefixes. Usually I do prefixes, but sometimes you can do suffix. That's at the end. Now, if you want to number your files, oh, that makes it one and two. <laughs> yeah, well, that's not what I need to do. 
I want them both to be two. Um, there's a way to do that too, but uh, I'll just do it manually. It's only two files. But anyway, if you want to number your files, and then if you put the number sign in there again, it'll give it a zero in front of it. And so if you do it again, give it another zero in front of it. And so I've been doing that lately by putting uh, putting um, I put a dash just because it's confusing not to you know to read the file name if it doesn't have a dash between it. But uh, I've been using it to number my videos. It, it goes by the creation date. So uh, actually, you know what? When you do this, it goes by how, when you do it in Crusader like this, it goes by how you have them organized. So if you have them organized by newest, it will do the, uh, it'll do it that way. And if you have them organized by, if you want them to be, you know, first video made to the last video you made in that folder, then you need to organize them uh, like that by ABCs. And it, see now it's 320, 320, 3, 4. Well, that's actually in reverse, isn't it? 28. Oh, that's right. That's what you want. So one, two, three. But I figured this out. Now, if you do it this way, then it's not. Uh, that's you know the the, the uh, newest one on top. The way I have it organized now, and I think that's the way it numbers them. That would be one. And so, I, so you got to pay attention to that. So anyway, yeah, I'm not going to do it now because. Uh, because here's what I want. I want these all to be nameless. I just wanted to add the two on the end because that tells me they all go together. And when you, the thing is, it goes by the last change, you know, modified date. So when you modify them like this, then that changes everything. And if you happen to modify them, how come that's not working? Oh, I see. Now, how am I going to straighten that out? I should have probably just named them together with that. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do now. Well, maybe I should do what I was saying. Let's see if that how that works. Yeah, that'll work. That would put them in the right order, and I'm going to leave that one because I, because see, there's another. In, well, actually, there's not a number in P4. Let's just leave them like that. Okay, so I'll do like I was saying. <clears throat> it's really slow because of, I'm, I'm sure it's still, uh, takes a while. Yeah, see, it takes a while. Once it's done, it'll get back to normal. Okay, so um, there we go. Now. Yes, yeah, they say they'll only be numbered as the as to their last modified date, I guess. But anyway, that won't matter so much on here. When I'm trying to get the videos in their actual order of the way they're taken, I try to be careful and not rename them or anything until I do this. But uh, that'll be fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's just something to differentiate them in a good way. <laughs> okay. <coughs> Now, um, yeah, I was fixing to do another test recording, but I can't um, until my lucky backup gets done because it couldn't handle that. Now, cause I've already run an OBS. Actually, I think that uh, that's why I just did that and made one and then played it back in OBS because... Uh, I think that the uh, error, I, it couldn't make that WebM and it's all entirely possible. Well, I don't see why. It made the video just fine, but it couldn't make the WebM. It erred out on that, and I'm not quite sure about why. Let's see, I'm going to click on edit. I'm gonna, I'm, I may edit this file, this script, and then save it as a different name. I can. <laughs> It'll open up. Okay. <coughs> So, I'll kind of go through it a little bit, I guess, and I'll review it. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. I thought I was locked up again. 
So Ben Bash at the top there, that's what makes it a, a Bash script. <clears throat> and uh, Screamcast, a date, so-and-so, so-and-so. Uh, I think it automatically adds a date into the... Add something into the file name. I thought it did add the date. Yeah, that's the date. Date and the time. It's just in having dashes in it or anything. So, so I can't read it like that. I can't. Yeah, 20... This is January 30th, 2019. So 2019, 01, 30, and then 02, 05. Yeah, 02, 05. It says 02, 05. 205, 205, 36. Uh, maybe that's, well, I don't know, 30, 320. See, time is 320. So that doesn't, doesn't, I guess maybe that's military time, but how, how I don't know what military, 3.20 a.m. what it would be in military time. I have no clue, so I've never been able to figure, that, you know, remember the, how that, compare, I can't convert that chunk in my head. I don't even know how that military time works. Okay, so, uh, yeah, okay, you yeah, know, click, it says echo, which that means you'll get a, you'll see something. You know, well, that means it'll do something, but in this case, it brings up, it turns your, mouse pointer into a cross and click the window to capture and get ready <laughs> get ready and so if i hadn't read that i wouldn't have known what to do uh, i think it tells you in the website where i got the script but and then it tells you where it's going to be actually it says temp temp screen grab and i thought it was going to be in the temp folder but it didn't it did it uh, in the same fo it's going to do it in the same folder where you have your script which was downloads for me and so temp is actually I think that's part of the file name it gives it. Oh, yeah, temps at the end. It gives it the the numbers I put on there just now. We just saw that, but screencast date and then temp, like like that right there. Screencast date and temp, and then the video was MP4 and the audio was WAV, and uh, <clears throat> and so then. Um, and then trap, touch, temp file, that's to, to uh, touch is usually to change it. It's do, well, touch the file, I guess, like do something to it. And then RM is, uh, I was going to say it's rename, but okay, I don't remember my commands good enough to say what they are. Uh, it's doing stuff. Temp file, uh, that's, and that's the size it's saying. Absolute upper X, okay, that's X and Y axis, and I never can remember what's what. Awk print, <laughs> uh, width, so it's basically the, whatever your full screen size is, height and width. And uh, width, height, left, top, geometry, height, width, so and so. So that's all the things you need to get that right. Uh, and it does do everything. It showed everything I did in that window. So it's not just whatever program you're in. I'm doing. Uh oh, what is wrong with my machine? I'm not running. Well, I'm running OBS, but that's the only thing. Let's go see if this silly script. Maybe the script. It does something kind of odd. Oh, it's still running. <laughs> Thank God. Taking a long time today. Uh, I don't have that many files. Okay, so that's what it is. I'm being goofy. And, uh, it's maybe jacking up my video. I'm being goofy and making a video, keeping on making a video while well, that's running. What's wrong? Okay, and then uh, it says sleep to, and then FFmpeg, YF, ALSA. Oh, that's for the audio software that it uses on the computer. This is for Linux. <coughs> um, and Fedora uses ALSA. I think the Bane does too. Now, um, Pulse Audio, which is using ALSA and Pulse Audio, and then uh, X11 Grab, frames per second. Uh, I guess it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't say specified. It doesn't look like it's just. I'm not quite sure. Display OO. That's the primary display. You might like say if you had another monitor. It just get the primary, whichever one's the default. Uh, say if you're using a laptop and say if the 
you know, like you can select the laptop screen as the default or the, uh, if you have plug in a monitor to the VGA or HDMI connection, then it would select whichever one that, that you, uh, well, this is going to be whichever one's the default. And uh, A codec would be audio codec PCM S16LE and the name Temp Wave. And then, uh, well, name, which is all this stuff up here at the top, right there, name. And then uh, V codec, video codec, LibX264, present, oh, preset, ultra fast. Oh, okay, that's the, uh, how fast it tries to, uh, well, what I read, I just read this on the OBS studio uh, site a while ago. I never, I didn't quite understand that. Uh, the faster it is, I got a whole bunch of different uh, settings all the way. And the, so I guess ultra fast is the fastest one. That uses the least of your CPU or GPU and CPU resources, uh, but gives the least quality. So if you want more quality, you would slow, you would go slower, but they said, be warned, it, just one change, you know, it's like from, I think very fast goes below ultra fast. So if you went down just one, it would make a huge difference in how much CPU you're using. I would get in there and show it, but uh, I think I can show what my settings are in OBS, but since I'm having <laughs> machines not acting too well, I won't do that. And then the name, uh, temp, name, meaning this up here, that's pre-written. Uh, see that number sign, that means use that up there. Uh, that's the same way in a renamer that I just showed you, uh, that you put that number sign in there to use the original name. And so anyway, in this case, in the script, it's, it means this up here. I just figured that out by just the basic stuff I know about. I do know, I guess I know more about scripts than I realize, but anyway. Uh, temp, MP4, uh, and then echo, uh, merge audio, video, and encode to WebM for YouTube and read. I don't know why it says and and read, but uh, or, and then uh, that happens when you hit Control uh, C to cancel. If you're in the terminal window, if you're not, if you run, double click on it and try to run it like I did one one time, then you don't have no way to stop it right. <laughs> um, and then FFmpeg, I name. I don't know what I means. Uh, temp MP4. And then uh, I might be input. Yeah, yeah. Probably means input. Um, temp wave and then uh, audio codec lib vorbis. So that sets your audio codec. AB 128K kilobytes per second. Uh, AC2 video codec lib Q scale 8. Uh, ME method full MDR. Flags. Okay, I don't know what any of those mean. <coughs> GMC, so and so, <coughs> trellis, one threads, <coughs> threads name web app. <coughs> so, um, and the threads, I don't know if that's going to put that into the name or what. But anyway, I do know that name web app is going to be. I. Well, I know what it produces. Well, I, I deleted that bad web I think, already. I keep clicking on that, but that's where I'm already at. Um, yeah, I deleted the web that didn't work, but it was kind of the same name. Uh, I don't remember if it changed. It might have added something. I think it was just screencast, date, tent, date and time, and tent. We have date and time, which the time would be different by the time it, re, you know, it combined them and all that stuff. So. That way it wouldn't overwrite the original files. Of course, there's a WebM, so it wouldn't anyway, but I suppose I didn't pay attention, but I suppose it would have a different time. Let's see if that's fine. Yeah, finally done. So maybe we can do okay now. Okay, so I want to try another one and see if it will encode properly, or not encode, but uh, I guess it is re-encoding it. I don't know why they're making an MP4 that's why I was wishing I could edit it, but I don't know. If, I don't think I know enough to edit that and change it. You'd have, I know enough to know that you need to change the uh, a codec to. Uh, we might say it right up here. Yeah, I could change it to here, right here. I could change it to that. I don't know about that. Well, I don't need that ultra fast. That's about the streaming part. 
probably change it to the audio codec. I don't really want Live Vorbis. I'd want AAC, and I don't know how to. Maybe just AAC. Let's try one. I'm going to see if I can do it. I'm wasting more time. <clears throat> Still don't understand why the machine's running so poorly, though. Should be better by now. Okay, save as. Let's see. I'm going to say edit. Okay, now I'm going to edit. Okay, so I want it to be the audio codec AAC. And I'm just kind of shooting from the hip here. Some of this other, you know, that could... Yeah, that should be... Unless that AB would throw something off. I don't know. I honestly don't. Okay, yeah, AAC. I could do MP3, but I think I'll stay with... Could be lib AAC or something too. I don't know. Let's see. A codec. PCM wave. I don't want it to be a wave. I know that. <clears throat> okay. And uh, I could do MP3 though. It's more commonly used. It's more more widely supported. Yeah. So, a codec. MP3. I'm going to try it just like that now then. Lib VPX Q scale 8 ME method full MBR. That's the one where I don't know. I don't know that I can do that. Let's see. Lib X264. Oh. I could do that. Maybe I should do exactly what's up there. MV4. I just think that'll be broken, really, because I don't know what I'm doing. The only thing I know about enough about machine. Okay. Lib 264, I don't know if I can, if that stuff is only pertains to WebM or what. <laughs> uh, taking all of it out seems to me that it would be more, mostly. And uh, MP4. Seems to me that that might break it. Now I'm trying something that I don't know how to do here, so. Edit. Now I'm going to run the regular one first. And, uh, but I'm not going to run it during this, this, this or something. See, the machine is just not happy. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this recording. And I'll try running it, and then if it works, I'll show it. Later. Okay.